And to fill us in on the cool music scene heading your way this weekend, from Radio Boise, it's Elizabeth. Hi. How are you? Good. How's it going? Good. Hey, some really good music coming to town. I mean, I know that we got this up at the Canyon County Fair, but we also have some other good stuff, There too. is a lot of good stuff going on in Boise this weekend, and I hope you didn't get too worn out. I know it was kind of crazy last weekend. There were so many oh huge gosh. names in town. Yeah. Did you go check any of it out? Uh, I had to work, you know, DJ oh. thing. But I could hear MC Hammer from the wedding I was at, so. <laughs> well... There's also a lot of good stuff going on this weekend, so if you haven't gotten too worn out, you might want to check it out. Maybe not as big of names, but equally awesome. Thursday night, tonight, there's three really cool shows. At the Flying M Coffee Garage in Nampa, Scattered Trees is in town, along with Sleepy Seahorse, local opener. Nice. Over at the Eagle River Pavilion, Sticks. Wow. I know. And then back in downtown Boise at the Modern Hotel and Bar, Hill Folk Noir is playing at 7 p.m., and that's a free show. And if you didn't know, they actually were voted last year um, Boise's Best Band. The Folk Noir? Yes. Nice. So if you haven't checked out the local music scene very much, they're a great intro. Fun, bluegrassy, old-time music. Um, Allie plays a saw, literally. So that's a good one to check out. Friday night, uh, there's some good shows as well. At the Neuralux, Sarah Cal Calhoun. That's kind of a country, alternative indie country show. And then at the Visual Arts Collective, Razors and Tree are in town from... Nebraska, and then Art Fad and Central City Music Company are the local openers, and that's five dollars. Moving on to Saturday night, Hill Folk Noir is also playing again at the Visual Arts Collective, so there's another opportunity to see them. They're opening for Paleo, also is Tim Andrea and Graham, Grandma Kelsey, and that's going to be a role kind of avant-garde, anti-folk, a little bit of a weird one, but also extremely, extremely good. So if you're interested in something that's a little offbeat, I'd recommend that one for sure at the Visual Arts Collective. Sounds great. So if you want to get out of town this weekend and maybe do some camping, there are two big music festivals going on. And that's something I love about the summer, you know, all the amazing oh, music yeah. festivals around here. So this weekend, you've got two choices. Uh, up by Grimes Creek, which is on the way to Idaho City, is the Rock the Mountain Music Festival. And that's actually kind of a hard rock metal show, which you don't see festivals like that very often, so that's exciting. For information on that, you can camp, I think, even starting as early as today. Go to www.rockthemountain.net. Nice. Also, over in Stanley, a really popular music festival in Idaho is the Sawtooth Music Festival, and that's a super exciting one. That's going to be more of your bluegrassy jam, folk bands, and that starts on Friday and goes through Sunday. If you want information about camping on tickets on that one, go to SawtoothMusicFestival.com. That sounds great. And then don't forget, starting off next week again on Tuesday is Uber Tuesdays at the Visual Arts Collective. Super great series happening on a Tuesday night. One of the few places you can see a really good show on a Tuesday in Boise. The Prids are playing next week, and that's super exciting. They're favorites from Portland. Opening to them is Junior Rocket Scientist and the Dirty Moogs. And finally, don't forget a live after five, of course, on Wednesdays downtown at the Grove. Tony Furtado is the um, headliner this week. And the Go Listen Boise local opener is New Transit. And remind those people that aren't familiar with Go Listen Boise what that's all about. Go Listen Boise is a local nonprofit dedicated to supporting the local music scene in the Treasure Valley. For information about them, visit golistenboise.org. And that's how you can find out about all these local musicians, where they're playing. And you can even sign up for the weekly newsletter called The Neighborhood Noise, where you'll get all the local concert info delivered straight to your inbox. How cool is that, huh? Awesome. Elizabeth, thank you so much. No problem. Stick around. We got more ETV coming up right after this.